Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create PostgreSQL instance in Google Cloud. Connect to Google Cloud Console by using this URL. I have already connected to Google Cloud by using my credentials. Click on this navigation menu, then click on this SQL. Now click on create instance. See here PostgreSQL. Available versions are 15, 14, 12, 11, 10 and 9.6. Click on choose PostgreSQL. We have to provide the name for the instance. I am giving as first DB. Provide the password for the root user that is admin user that is Postgres. See here we are going to set password for the admin user Postgres. Once we create the instance we have to connect with username and this password. Here we have to select the database version. I am going with the latest version. If you want to see password policy you have to click on this one and we have to enable then we have to set the password policies at present i am skipping you want you can enable and you can set here we have two types of cloud sql editions enterprise and enterprise plus this is for high performance machines we have production development or sandbox if you are going to use this as production then you have to select production development development otherwise sandbox it is up to you based on your requirement availability zone multiple zones if it is in production but if it is in sandbox or development single zone is fine you can also specify zones these are the list of the available zones those are available based on the region we have selected see us central one here all are us central one if we change from us central to us eastern then those will be changed here see here okay like this we have to change Click on show configuration options. Storage. See, by default, it has selected 10 GP for sandbox. If you want to increase, you can increase. If you want to increase more than 250, you can, you can select custom and you can provide. Also, see the checkbox here. Enable automatic storage increases. The database size increases more than 10 GP, then it will be automatically increased. Connection section instance ip assignment if you want to assign both public and private you have to check this checkbox but keep the checkbox public ip to access postgresql instance from outside the gcp environment add network means we have to add the ip ranges of the client connections information data protection automatic daily backups number of backups will be this one and this is the window if you want to change window you can change enable point in time recovery by default it is seven days max also seven days for the enterprise edition and another important thing is instance relation protection if you don't enable this one you can direct it de delete the instance it is always better to enable deletion protection i will show you what happens if we enable this one maintenance here Order of update any okay maintenance window also any window flags these are all optional and price estimation see this is the 0.14 dollar per hour and the estimated cost per day is 3.38 dollar per hour and this is the summary see here cost of cpu ram storage information and total cost is this one and this is the summary of our PostgreSQL instance this is the IOPS information for reads and writes if you are ok for all these settings then we have to click on this create instance see instance is being created also see here creating PostDB instance now go to this SQL see it is in creating but not yet created click on instance see here this is the connection name 
wait some time here we will get the ip information as well refresh click on overview to refresh go back click on instance see ip public ip has been assigned this is the outgoing ip address this is the connection wait until this creating to be change it to created go to sql here it will be changed from is being updated to created I am pausing this video until this will be changed to created. See instance has been created it took about five minutes see the status is now runnable click on the instance see here this is the service account information and backup finish and create finish these are the timings you can see all operations as well and these are the overview section system insights here we can find the CPU utilization, disk utilization, peak connections, log errors, and transaction ID utilization information. And many more can find here. Query insights, connections. We will come to this tab that is networking. We have to add here. I will show you why we need to add. We have only one user that is Postgres. We have only one database. We can create database here also. I am giving R2 schools. Click on create. See, database has been added. Go to users, add a user account. R2 admin, provide the password for this user. Here, Cloud IAM, we can provide it here. Click on add. See, new user has been added. We can remove, but this we can't remove because this is the admin user. Okay, now go to overview and one more, sorry, backups. See the backup information. Replicas, we don't have replicas. We can create the read replica that we can see in some other video. Click on overview, copy this public IP. Now we are going to connect to this PostgreSQL server from PG admin. Open PG admin. If you want to install PG admin, go through the link provided in the video description. Click on servers, right click on servers, click on register, then select server. Here provide name as post db gcp this can be anything but here in connection we have to provide this public ip copy this public ip then paste here port is same 5432 and maintenance database that is postgres which is comes with the postgres equal instance username is postgres or you can give r to schools which we have created but now go with postgres then provide the password for this user we have created at the time of instance creation. Now click on save. For this we will get error. We will see what is the error and we will see the solution. Click on save. See, unable to connect to the server, connection to server at this one port failed timeout expired why because i will show you go to connections then networking here add a network we have to add our ip click on add a network then provide name my ip address name can be anything but here we have to provide ip address if you don't know ip address what is my ip then click on first link see this is the my ip copy it then go to 
connections here we have to provide the IP then click on done then we have to click on save wait until this is saved see we have successfully saved it okay now we want another network we have to click on add and we have to provide IP not only IP here see here we can provide the IP ranges now go to PG admin just edit this one and click on save see we have successfully connected let's expand this one click on databases see we have created one database that is R2 schools right click and click on create database test click on but before that overview not overview databases see we have only two databases click on save De see we have added one database from pg admin if you refresh this one See, new database has been added. In the same way, if you want create users, just right click on create user. Or login or group role, both are same. See, this is the user we have created. Right click and select login or group role. Provide R2 test. I am not giving any privileges or membership or any other things. Click on save. See, see, R2 test has been added. If you go to users, refresh, see, user is added here. So, if you want to drop a database, you have to right click and select delete or drop, then click on S. Database has been dropped. Now, refresh here. See, database has been gone. Now the last step, click on SQL, then select the instance, then here select delete, but we can't delete because we can't delete this instance because deletion protection is enabled. To delete you have to edit this instance and disable deletion protection first. So click on instance, click on overview, click on maintenance preferences then go down data protection now you have to uncheck this one and click on save now go to sql see here it is success now select the instance now click on this one see now we are able to delete now it is asking confirmation to enter the instance id okay like this we can delete the instance. So in this video we have seen how to create PostgreSQL instance on GCP that is Google Cloud platform. Then we have seen how to connect to PostgreSQL instance which is hosted on GCP using PG admin. Then we have seen how to create users databases on the same instance. Then we have seen how to delete and how to protect the deletion of the instance which is hosted on GCP. For more GCP or cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.